great way to beat this heat. Temperatures today back into the 90s. In fact, the heat will intensify for tomorrow. So for the first day of August, it's going to feel like it's 100 degrees during the afternoon. That's why tomorrow is an impact day. We're going to keep that going on into Friday. We'll have low storm chances for tomorrow, but chances for those showers and thunderstorms will rise again as we go on into the weekend. Hopefully we can get decent amounts of passing showers and storms because much of next week looks like it is going to be dry. And for the first 10 days of August, it's going to continue continue to be very warm even for this time of the year. Outside right now over Lancaster, we have mostly sunny skies. We're at 92, but it feels like it's 95 despite the breeze coming out of the west at 13 miles per hour. It is relatively quiet on live local 8 radar with the exception of far southern portions of Lancaster County seeing a nice passing downpour south of Mechanics Grove north of Wakefield heading over towards a little Britain. These will fizzle out during the next hour to two hours and then it's going to be quiet and muggy as we go through the rest of our evening and on into tonight. So mostly sunny with those stray storms in our southern areas, but steamy out there with temperatures only dropping off into the upper 80s near sunset. Lows tonight will be in the low to mid 70s. It's going to be muggy out there and then for tomorrow, partly sunny with a stray passing shower and thunderstorm. But look at those temperatures back into the low to mid 90s and feeling like it's near 100 degrees. So this is why the Weather Service has issued a heat advisory in effect for the majority of the valley for starting tomorrow at Thursday and lingering on into uh, Friday evening. So there's a breakdown of the temperatures and the feels like forecast. Notice near 100 degrees during the afternoon and early evening. So take breaks if you have to work outside. Here's a look at that weather and health for tomorrow. Pollen count will be at a moderate level. Air quality also at a moderate level with increasing levels of ozone particulates in the air. Made it to 92 today after morning low of 73. We picked up a tenth of an inch of rain. Temperatures still quite warm. We're at 92 in effort and 93 if you're watching us in Carlisle. Dew points once again, sitting high in the 60s to lower 70s. You can see that extends off to our west where we just have spotty showers and storms back over eastern Ohio, but back over central Kentucky, we have a cluster of stronger thunderstorms, but it's pretty quiet thanks to a passing cold front and drier air building in from the west. We do have the opportunity for isolated showers and storms tomorrow, but we'll see a bit more action as we go on into Friday, thanks to a passing warm front and a storm system approaching from the Great Lakes region. But again, they'll be scattered in nature, so some areas will stay dry. Some areas will continue to stay wet. Everybody gets that high heat and humidity for the foreseeable future with feels like temperatures challenging 100 degrees nearly every afternoon, but better chances for scattered showers and storms be around for Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Unfortunately, it looks like we're, we're drying back out as we head into next week, but we're not cooling off. So a series of days with temperatures at or above 90 degrees. Finally, better chances for passing showers and thunderstorms will return to the area late next week for Thursday into Friday with highs dropping back into the upper 80s.